Hi my little friends. Today in my class, you'll be learning the correct pronunciation of a few words that you use in your everyday lives. Sometimes we don't even realize that the words that we are pronouncing might be mispronounced. So, let us check out the list of mispronounced words that we used in our day-to-day -day lives. Let's start. The first most common words that most of us pronounce wrong is this animal. The correct pronunciation to this is lion. Sometimes you might say lion, but no, it's not lion. It's lion. Say it once again, lion. Another wild animal that most of us commonly pronounce wrong is bear. We, we might call it a bear, but no, it's not bear, it's bear. Say it once more, bear. Now take a close look at this man. He is without hair, so he is bald. Don't call it bald, don't call it bailed. He is bald. Once more, bald. Now peep into this plate. What does it has? It has biscuit. Now we might call it a biscuit or sometimes a biscuit. But no, the correct pronunciation to this is biscuit. Say it once more, biscuit. Now do you know what is this? This is a kind of bandage that we use for first aid. What do we call it? It is called a gauge, not a gauze. It is gauge. Say it once more, gauge. And what is this drink? This is a coffee. It is called espresso. We don't call it espresso. The spelling might have an X in it, but we call it espresso. The correct pronunciation is espresso. Now look at these cars. They are in the middle of a jam. So what do we call it? We call it a chaos. We don't call it a chaos. It is simply chaos. Say it once more. Chaos. Now this vegetable. Most of us call it as an onion. But strangely, it is not onion. The sound of O comes out to be a uh in this. So we simply call it an onion. Say it once more. Onion. Onion. Now what do we call this man who fixes and repairs taps and pipes at our houses? We call him a plumber. A plumber. No, he is not a plumber. He is a plumber. Now this is because the letter B in this word remains silent, so we call him a plumber. There are other examples of similar words. Now, which body part is this? What do you call it? It's your thumb. In this word also, the letter B remains silent. We don't call it a thumb. We call it a thumb. The correct pronunciation to this is thumb. How do you pronounce this month of the year? It is the second month of the year. It is called February. Now many of us may be pronouncing it as February or February, but no, it is February. Say it once more, February. And how do we pronounce this word? It's often. The T in this word remains silent. So we pronounce it as often. Although sometimes often is also accepted, but it'll be better if you pronounce it as often. We should wash our hands often. And this luxurious room in a hotel is called a suite. Say it once more, suite. Just similar to your candies, suite. It is not a suit. It's a sweet. Talking about the sweet taste, 
I have another taste for you. What do you call it? It's sour. Say it once more. Sour. The R will be silent and the pronunciation of OU will be sour. It is not sour and it is not sour. It is sour. Say it once more. The lemons are sour. Now this word used by your teachers and your parents for you. It is mischievous. Simply mischievous. Now many of you might be pronouncing it as mischievous. But no, it's not mischievous. It goes mischievous. Say it once more. Mischievous. And how do we go about this one? This is a sweet dish that we usually eat after our dinner. It is a dessert. A dessert. Not a desert, which is a sandy place without any rain. It's a dessert. The stress is upon the double S. A dessert. Now we are looking to pronounce this four letter word which is usually used for this uh, piece of decoration in which we keep decorative flowers. So, what do we call it? Well, this word has two different pronunciations. In the British English, it is usually called a was. The S here gives a Z sound, a was. But in the American English, it is pronounced as a waist, a waist. So, both the pronunciations are correct for this word. A was and a waist. You can call it a was or a waist. Now, this is another commonly mispronounced word. We call it an athlete. But do you know the correct pronunciation for this? It is not athlete. It is athlete. Say it once more with the stress on the the syllable. Athlete. Athlete. Do you know, as a kid, when I had to learn the names of the days of the week in order to memorize the spelling of this day of the week, I used to pronounce it as Wednesday. So it was very easy for me to learn the spelling Wed plus Ness plus Day. But when I grew up, I realize that the correct pronunciation for this day of the week is not Wednesday. It is Wednesday. We call it simply a Wednesday. So, learn the spelling by saying Wednesday but pronounce it as a Wednesday. Let's say it one more time. A Wednesday. Now, there are two easy ways to pronounce this word. We can call it a flower or a flower. But do you know, the actual pronunciation seems a bit different. You have to merge these two words to get the real pronunciation, which is a flower. A flower. The R will be silent and the stress will not be on the W. It will be simply a flower. A flower. Not a flower. Not a flower. A flower. And how do you go about pronouncing this one? It is called a towel. A towel. Not a towel. Not a towel. It's a towel. And this little four letter word that we have been pronouncing wrong all our lifetimes. It is not a poem. Which we call it usually looking at the spelling. It is a poem. A Poem. Now just tell me, what is the first meal of the day called? It is a breakfast. The first thing you have in the morning? A breakfast. Not a breakfast. Yes, breakfast is a mispronounced word. It is called a breakfast. Now this word, it might be confusing at times. You might sometimes pronounce it as a stupid but no, it's not stupid. It's stupid. You have to stress on the U syllable. Stupid. What do we call it? A stupid. It sounds funny when a kid comes to you and says that I want to have a pizza. 
Well, the kids are cute. They don't know the correct pronunciation, but you must learn it. It's not a pizza. It's a pizza. A pizza. The z syllable in this is pronounced as a s. We call it a pizza. And this word, it's simple. It's called a data. Data, not data. It is data. Say it once more. Data. And do you know what is this? This is Mama's jewelry. Jewelry. Strangely, the W in this is silent, and the W E goes like double O. So we call it jewelry. Usually we mispronounce it as jewelry, but it is not jewelry. It is jewelry. And how do we go about pronouncing this? Almond. Simply almond. Many a times we pronounce this as almond, but here we have to mute the L and we say almond. Say it once more. Almond. And friends, before we move any further, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and also leave your wonderful comments below. Ah, uh, do you really like this video? Ah. Uh, did I go wrong in pronouncing this one? Yes, I did. It's not a video. It's a video. So please do like my video. A video. And my lovely dear friends, do you like going out and eating out at this place? What it is called? It's called a restaurant. A restaurant. The correct pronunciation is a restaurant not a restaurant which it might seem from its spelling we say a restaurant another important word ending with the letter b where the b will be silent is a tomb but in this word the o will be pronounced as a oo so we call it a tomb not a tomb not a tomb it's a tomb a tomb is usually a place where we bury the dead. And here we learn another important commonly mispronounced word which is bury. When I was a kid, I used to read this word as bury. But now I know that it's not bury, it's bury. And lastly, famously the L to this word is silent either in the British English or the American English and it goes like salmon salmon not salmon which we commonly mispronounce it as it is salmon salmon and so my lovely dear friends now it's time to say bye bye if you really like these type of videos and would like to see more of them on my channel please don't forget to leave your wonderful comments below like this video and also subscribe to this channel i'll catch you later see you next time bye bye